I'd like to start by thanking everybody for being here today. It's really important for folks to get involved in local politics and city politics and national politics. So thank you for taking time out of your day to be here. Uh, it's very important. My name is Tom Hochschild. I'm running for county commissioner in District 3. And I've got to be honest with you up front. I stacked the deck a little bit and brought some BSU sociology students that clapped really loud for me today. So. <laughs> They're getting extra credit for that. Yeah. I'd, rather be, I'd rather be honest about that. About eight months ago, uh, some local political leaders asked me if I'd be willing to run for county commissioner. I've never run for office before. Uh, they had heard about my reputation for doing a lot of community service with my students in Lowndes County, working with uh, Lamb Homeless Shelter, the Haven Battle Women's Shelter, uh, Second Harvest of South Georgia, Children's Miracle Network. I do a lot of work with those organizations, so it thought that would lend itself well to the county commission. And so after talking with uh, my wife, Allison, and I, we thought it'd be a great way to serve the community. Uh, for those of you who've never taken a sociology course, uh, what we do in large part is we study social problems and community problems, and we try to figure out solutions to those problems. In fact, I spend a significant part of my life reading and doing research about social and community problems. I've conducted research on this that has been in some of the top social science journals in the world. And my publications pertain to how to solve some of these local issues that we're faced with. Now, it's been interesting. Over the last eight months of being on this campaign, it's been very sociological. Because at this point, I've knocked on approximately 4,000 do 4, doors in District 3. Uh, my walking shoes are getting very thin, let me tell you. Uh, but it's been great because I've been able to talk face to face with a lot of folks about the issues that matter to them. And what I'd like to talk with you briefly about are a few things that I've learned by talking with Lyme's residents. The first one is that I've talked with a lot of younger couples who are upset that Lyme's does not have enough affordable, family friendly activities and cultural events. And so what often happens is when folks graduate from high school and BSU, they often leave. They go to Atlanta, they go to Savannah, they go to Jacksonville or Tallahassee because they say that there's nothing here for them to do. And so what I'd like to do as county commissioners is to promote and enhance family-friendly community activities. In fact, I've taken the initiative and I've already started building a website for Lyons County. If you go to LoungeEvents.com. You'll see that there's some pictures that I put up from the Hire a Honeybee Festival. Uh, you'll see a calendar. It's currently under construction, but what I'd love this to be is a one stop shop for all community and civic events. So if you want to know what's going on in Lowndes County this weekend, you go to LoungeEvents.com. Because I hear it all the time. There might have been an event last week. People don't hear about it. They wish they would have gone to it. Had they known about it? They didn't read it in the paper. This, I think, would help a lot. And so what we would do is promote this website throughout Lowndes County and give people things to do. So rather than going and spending your money in Tallahassee on the weekend, stay here in Lowndes and spend your money. Uh, so the second thing that I've learned from Lowndes residents is that there are a lot of folks who are really upset about Sable Trail and Florida Light and Power. If you're not familiar with Sable Trail and Florida Light and Power, they want to put a 36 inch pipeline through a lot of residents' properties in Lyons County. And the way they've gone about this has been, let's say, uh, it's been less than forthright. And there's been a lot of upset people out there who have told me that Sable Trail has sneaked onto their land without permission. They have sent threatening letters to landowners in Lyons County. And when people call up Sable Trail or Florida Lake Power, they're often met with rude people on the other end of the line. And so there's a lot of people who are very dissatisfied with this. And what I'd like to do uh, as county commissioners, I'd like to hold Sable Trail and Florida Light and Power accountable for their misbehaviors. And I want them to know that it's not acceptable. It's coming to Lyons County and it's mistreat landowners. A second issue with that pipeline that concerns me and a lot of folks is that we don't seem to be getting too much out of this. They get the land, they get to put their pipeline in, they get to make vast sums of money, and we get very little, maybe a few temporary jobs while they're building it. 
my way of looking at it is we have the supply, they have the demand. If they want to put a pipeline through Lawrence County, I think we should get something from it. We have schools that are underfunded. We have teachers, firefighters, police officers, public employees that are underpaid. I think we're in a great position to help each other out on this issue. The third thing that I've been hearing from folks is jobs, of course. Jobs. There aren't enough good paying jobs in Lawrence County. And like Mark mentioned before, we're, we're, we have Highway 75. Tens of thousands of people are, are funneled through Lowndes County every day. We have great weather. We've got very intelligent people coming out of Valdosta State University, Wire Grass, Georgia Military College, Moody Air Force Base, highly educated, highly skilled, highly motivated, but they want good jobs and they're not here right now. We should be flooded with jobs. And so what I think we need to do it in Lowndes County is we need to promote the fact that we are, in essence, an educational hub in South Georgia. We need to start talking about ourselves in that way, and we need to start promoting ourselves that way. That this is a great place to start a business, and if you're coming from another district, if you're coming from out of state, this is a fantastic place to do business. Because you're going to get outstanding students and soldiers that are willing to work with you. So, uh, I'm asking for your vote on November 4th. A lot of you have gone to Valdosta State, you sent your sons and daughters there, your grandkids, your ne ne uh, nephews and nieces. Uh, you've trusted me with their education. I'm going to ask you to trust me again on November 4th. You vote for me in District 3, County Commissioner. Thank you very much. Thank you.